really, there's four steps, you know, to what, what you said, uh, how do we uh, start connecting with people? Great. Um, I thought quite a bit about it. And, and there are four steps that I very often teach um, of what it takes. The first step is having a daily practice of tuning inward, mm -hmm. whether it's meditation, whether it's contemplation, whatever is the practice that someone uses. But the key here is that it is something regular and it is something that we do you know, like brushing, brushing our teeth. Why is that important? Because by doing that, that's what we start creating. We start creating that space. Mm -hmm. We start creating that understanding that what we thought was us is actually ours. So then we start asking deeper questions of ourselves. Well, what, what is this thing? Who am I? Um, and it takes practice to sit with the unknown, to sit in silence, to maintain these practices. And naturally, when we start doing these practices, the way that we are changes. Mm -hmm. We start becoming more open, more tolerant, more curious, because we start realizing how little we know, how little we know about what this is. I think the second step is learning to observe without evaluating you know, just about everything we say. If we really pay attention, is a conclusion, judgment, or label of some sort. And actually, the, one of the first practices in terms of observation without evaluation is changing the way we listen because most of the time we're listening to someone else before they're done with, you know, their first, the first breath, we've already made a conclusion. We've already evaluated them. We already put them in a box, put a label on that box and we are ready to ship them. Yep. So really becoming aware of that and, and, and learning to observe without evaluating. And actually something, um, something we talk quite a bit about, active listening. You know, active listening is something that many people talk about, very few people actually know how to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but that involves not just listening to the words, but tuning in, really tuning in. And this is where the two first practice also comes in very, very handy. Tuning in to the emotion and energy behind the words. And then reflecting it back to the person, really making sure before we go into any kind of discussion, before we say you're right or you're wrong or anything, anything like that, just making sure that we heard them, yeah. that we heard them. And, and, that's, and that's very powerful. You know, the Indian mystic Jada Krishnamurti, uh, one of the greatest Indian philosophers of the 20th century, has said observation without evaluation is the highest form of intelligence. Mm -hmm. And I think very few of us actually practice that. Mm -hmm. Because everything we see, we hear on television, on the news, on the radio, um, even newspapers, even what we consider to be news, still, still is based on evaluation, opinion, judgment, label, and so forth. The next step is expansion. And this is something that we started talking about. Uh, part of the expansion is realizing how little we know. And instead of connecting with our knowledge, beginning with connecting with our ignorance, with what we don't know. Mm -hmm. So as a daily practice, replacing the words I know with I am open. I am open. If we could just try that, you know, anytime we want to mentally say, oh, I know what the situation is about. I know what this person is about. If we can just shift and say, I'm open, I'm open. Yeah. That's the first step of expansion. Now, the next step of expansion is moving beyond our positions. So most of the time when we disagree with someone, we start with positional statements. And that's the most superficial level on which we have a dialogue, on which we talk to each other. And when I teach this, I often use a, an image of an iceberg. And so on the iceberg, you know, the very tip of the iceberg is positions. Now, right underneath that are interests. Mm -hmm. For 25, 30 years, Harvard Negotiation Project was telling us 
that interest is kind of the end all and be all. And, and they were teaching interest-based negotiations mm. and interest-based conflict resolution. But I, I still think, in my experience, interests are still quite superficial level. It may be intellectually why we think something, we need to go much deeper. So the next level is emotion. Energy in motion, that is behind our words. What are our words stirring within us? Or as Marshall Rosenberg, the founder of nonviolent communication described, what is alive within us? Mm. As we are speaking these words, what is truly happening? What is happening within us? Really, really tuning in to that. So then we go to emotions, which are really right at the water level. Now for us to really start getting to the depth, we need to go to values. And finally, and most importantly, we need to start connecting with the needs. Mm -hmm. And when we start connecting with the needs, no matter who we are, no matter what our political beliefs, no matter how differently we may look or live, our needs are identical. Yeah. We all have a need for security. We all have a need for autonomy. We all have a need for authenticity, yeah. for connection, for beauty, for meaning, and for expansion. And when we start connecting with those needs, the nature of the conversation changes. Yeah. And then the final step I'd like to mention is exploration. So this is again shifting how we see conflicts and disagreements. What if we saw conflicts and disagreements as adventures, as opportunities to explore, mm 